a very good morning to everyone, judges and the audience sitting here. Uh, I'm Dr. Shubhicha Parab. I'm from Goa Medical College. And uh, being coming from Goa, we love fishing and we love to eat fish both. So I'm here to present a rare case of corneal perforation with a glass perchlet fish. Ocular trauma is a leading cause of blindness and visual morbidity. Sports and recreational activities related eye injuries accounts for around 6 lakhs cases per year. Corneal perforation is an ophthalmic emergency requiring an immediate intervention. Coming to the case report, a 26-year-old male presented to our emergency department with the history of trauma to left eye due to the impact of the glass perchlet fish jumping out of the water while he was fishing. The associated symptoms were ocular pain and blurring of vision in that eye. You can see the uh, glass perchlet fish picture being displayed. Coming to the ocular examination, the best corrected visual acuity in the left eye was 6 by 9 and that in the right eye was 6 by 6. On slit lamp examination, the conjunctiva showed circumcorneal congestion. On corneal examination, there, was, there were noted two tears. The first one is the 3 millimeters full thickness laceration as depicted by the black arrow in the picture and below that was a 1.5 millimeters partial thickness laceration depicted by the red arrow. The anterior chamber was minimally shallow and there was no associated reaction. The right eye examination was normal. As you can see in the picture, the Seidel's test was positive as the fluorescein dye gets diluted by the leaking aqueous and the rest of the ocular examination in the left eye was within normal limits. Coming to management, the patient was hospitalized, started on systemic antibiotics and the tear was sealed by cyanoacrylate glue and bandage contact lens was applied under topical anesthesia. Coming to discussion, direct injury with fish accounts for blunt ocular trauma, which is seen most commonly. Penetrating ocular injury because of the impact of fish is rare, as in our case. So, the possible mechanism which we are thinking for a penetrating injury in our case could be because of the impact of fish fin or because of the fish teeth. So I would like to conclude from my case report that a uh, protective eyewear is must while fishing or any other uh, recreational activities which reduces the risk of eye injury by 90% and it should be worn by both. It should be worn by the active participants as well as the bystanders. Small tests can be managed by sutureless methods like cyanoacrylate glue and even minor ocular injuries require immediate medical attention. Thank you. Oh, how many such cases have been reported in literature? Did you do a literature search? So very less cases are reported. There was one case uh, reported with a fish which has a long uh, 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 nose kind of thing. And that patient presented with direct impact of that uh, this thing uh, in the cornea. And they had to actually cut the fish. And the piece was impacted in the cornea and then they had to remove it. But that was because of the uh, half of the fish had almost gone in the patient's cornea, sir. So that is one case which was reported. So it's a very rare. Yes. Sir. Nice presentation. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to ask you a very basic question. How did you perform that serials test? If you can run us through that. Okay. Uh, first, we explained to the uh, patient the procedure, what we'll be doing. Then we took, uh, we put a, 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 a pair again. A, a, uh, eye drop that's the uh, anesthetic eye drop uh, then we took the fluorescein strip wetted with the uh, normal saline drop then we uh, retract the lower eyelid just swipe just swipe the uh, uh, lower phonics and ask the patient to blink then under cobalt blue filter we observe the uh, we ask the patient to constantly blink and open 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 and close the eye so that when the aqueous gets leaked out the fluorescein dye gets diluted so you can see the uh, uh, it's, uh, the dye getting diluted can be seen. Okay. So tell me, did your patient manage to catch that fish which you showed? Is it yes, sir. This this picture this picture was brought by him only to show us. So actually, this picture is from the patient only. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good.